Hello guys, today I want to show you two quick examples on how you can make this effect inside Blender very quickly. Let's begin. Start off by making a new document. Delete the default cube and add a text. Write down what you want to make and go down to the object data properties. Scroll down till you see the alignment and place it in center. Place it also in the middle. Now go into geometry and set extrude it a little bit, not that much. I'll offset my characters just a little and go in and choose another font. And I'll also, this will not work for every font and it's not necessary at all, but I like to put a bevel on my font and set the resolution to zero. Now that we have our text, we just need to inflate it. The first method would be cloth simulation, converting into a mesh by pressing F3 and search convert, choose mesh and add a remesh modifier. Turn down the voxel size until you are able to see your letters clearly. I'm holding down shift to make it to make the adjustment smaller. The bigger the voxel size, the easier it is for your computer to calculate the cloth simulation. But you also need to fix some issues in the shading. So just make it as big as, big as you want. If you go up into your overlays and choose wireframe, you can see the size of your cubes. If these are too small, your computer will just burn down. Sorry to say. Now go into the physics properties and choose cloth. I just turned off the wireframe again. Scroll down until you see pressure. pressure. Choose 5, go down to field rates and set gravity to 0. Now when you press spacebar it will calculate your inflation. If your text is like not that beautiful you can try turning up the pressure and calculate it again by going back and pressing spacebar. Press space again to stop the calculation. If you put on a subdivision you can see your text in its what state it is i would like to make the pressure even higher if you're still not happy, happy with your glove simulation you can turn down the tension stiffness also the compression it's all about tweaking your settings until you're happy with your result i think this looks good but maybe you want a more bulky look that's up to you now i'll show you a second method so I'll just delete all my modifiers, so we are back at the text. Now I'll convert it into a mesh again, and add the remesh modifier once again. Turn down the voxel size, this time you can just go crazier, because this is not that difficult on your computer, so maybe you want to have like more geometry to work with. Yes, I like to set it to 0 0.01. Go up to sculpting, scroll down to the cloth filter, this is not the cloth filter, this is a cloth filter. Go up to this drop down menu and choose inflate. Now when you hover and press down the left mouse button and drag to the right, your text will disappear. And that's because you didn't apply your remesh. Applying and do it again, holding down the mouse button and dragging, will inflate your text. And you'll probably get a different result depending on what font you choose. This font gives these corners, which I really like. And if you put a subdivision surface modifier, it really look nice, I think, because you have this tension in the corners. But if you don't want that, you should probably choose a different font. But that's all up to you. You can do it again, drag and make it even bigger. And this is really inflated. Do it again, even more inflated. Lastly, I want to show you how you can make a rubber texture that's not just a glossy texture, but more like an actual balloon texture. I'll go into the shading tab and I'll just close down these. I don't need them. And I'll make a new material. Set it to a color that you like. I will take a purple color. I'll turn down the roughness and this could be your balloon texture. And that's just fine and it'll get the job done. But if you want a little more realism, I will suggest you turn on subsurface. Like 0.102 or something. Just a little. But then it's not that purple anymore and that is because your subsurface radius is set to be like a skin type of orange so you have the values here is R, G and B, RGB and the uh, the red value is really high I'll set that to 0.5 and also with the green value and then I'll set the blue value to 1 and when you go into the cycles render and turn on viewport shading 
then you can't see anything because you need some lights. I'll just add HDRI and if it's really slow I can suggest to turn on GPU computing and turn on denoising and now you're able to see your rubbery texture. I think I made it a little too subsurface-ish. So I'll go back and change it to 0.1 and I think this looks very lovely. I'll add a camera. I'll also go into the render properties and on the film I'll set it to transparent. Now you're ready to render out your text. I'll just make the color management more contrast. I like a high contrast uh, render. I'll just turn on render region so we're only rendering inside the camera. And if you think your the white background thing is annoying, you can just add a plane and move it back, scale it up and make it purple. And now you will cast some light onto to your onto your text. And if you go down into your object and scroll down to shading, you can turn on the holdout. And now your plane will cast light onto your onto your text, but not the other way around. So it would be invisible to the camera, but not to the scene. And now if you render out your text, you get this lovely texture. Thank you for watching and please leave a like and subscribe. I've made a lot of videos in the past year and I think some of them are worth checking out. So please do that and uh, I'll see you again soon.